this is the worst looking racket of 2024 i'm about to show you my top five the first one everyone is going to want in their bag today i'm going to be talking all about the superficial the look of your tennis racket because let's face it we're not pro players. When we step out on court, we want to enjoy our game. So when we take a racket out of the bag, we want to love what it looks like and enjoy using it. And today, I'm going to give you my personal opinion. I don't want to see in the comments, you're wrong, that's ugly, this looks better. I don't want to hear it. This is my top five. You're going to watch all the way to the end and you're going to see which is my number one best looking racket available in 2024. Before I get into my top five, I had some very close contenders. Uh, and I'm gonna go through those now. Um, the first contender, they didn't quite make it, is the Head Speed Legend. Uh, obviously it's just nice and sleek, all black. What lets it down? The gloss paint. I mean, it looks great if you're Djokovic playing on the floodlights, winning the Olympics, but not so great in the daytime uh, in North London. So a very nice, smart looking racket, as all black rackets are, if we think back to the kind of the pro staff uh, days, but it is not sleek enough to make my top five. The next racket in my honourable mentions just before my top fives is the Pro Staff. Now, when I first saw this, it didn't really do it for me, the kind of desert brown colour, um, but with, especially with 4G Soft and the stencil, nice white grip, I actually think it looks pretty smart, and I do like in all the Wilson range the kind of colour shifting. Uh, pattern that they've got going on so under lights and bright sunshine it kind of throws off some different shades and different colors at you um, so I'm quite into it I'm quite into the Wilson looks generally um, so the pro staff a nice looking racket that doesn't quite make the top five and my final honorable mention is the pure strike now the pure strike looks great but there's two big butts the first one I'm not a big fan of this like graffiti style on the throat a bit messy and second of all it looks the same as the old one. There was nothing new. It just looks like a pure strike and it looks the, like the same pure strike there's been for, I don't know, like six years now, ever since the black and red one. Um, so a very nice looking racket, but a little too messy on the throw and just not original enough. So sorry, pure strike, close, but no cigar. In at number five, we have the brand new Head Extreme. This is the Exotic 2.0 version, released in early 2024. And this is with nice uh, restring zero in the blue, really contrasting nicely with the yellows. Um, and a really eye-catching racket. Um, it's one that actually looks better from further away. And what I mean by that is if your opponent is using it, if you're watching someone else down the other end, it looks really smart, it looks like a proper racket. Um, the two-tone yellow uh, is a nice a new clear bumper, that's unusual, so the colour comes all the way through, there's no kind of uh, bumper um, and grommet strips blocking the colour of the frame. That's sort of there, eye-catching, bold, stands out on the shelf, stands out on the court, you've got to be good to use it. Head spin machine, the extreme, my fifth best looking racket available in 2024. In at number four. Now, this is very unusual because this brand did not make good looking tennis rackets. Sorry, uh, Yonex. Uh, but you've managed to do it with the new V Core. Uh, this is a seventh generation V Core. This is the uh, sand beige color. I needed to get exactly the right color for it. Uh, I think it's very smart. I think it's a toned down, more sophisticated version than the, gap, than the scarlet red kind of inline colour at the moment. Um, the sand beige, especially with nice, yeah, this is Polytor soft actually, um, but with the yellow string, red stencil ink, really pops. With the combination of the string and the red stencil and the racket, really pops very nicely. Um, it also goes with the uh, AD Excel, the new red uh, colorway shoe that releases at the same time as this. Um, although you think red and sand beige don't go together, I think they're in the same color palette because when you put them both next to each other, they really do work nicely. And actually the little like flecks of pink in the frame, especially under bright sunlight and floodlights, really effective. I think Yonex have done a good job designing this racket. Um, I think it's much better than the Scarlet version. And it is fourth in my top five best looking rackets so far in 2024. In at number three, we have the second entry from the same manufacturer. 
another 2024 release, another release from Head. It is the Boom, but not just any Boom. This is the Boom Alternate. This is not the standard color. The standard color they went with was the black and I guess mint. Um, uh, this is the alternate Celeste color. Now, for those of you that have watched the channel, I'm not great with colors. I tend to get some colors mixed round and people will be laughing because I comment on my inability to pick colors out regularly anyway. Um, but this, I know for a fact, is called Celeste. Um, an alternate made famous by Coco Goff, obviously, tearing up the tour at the moment. Um, and I just think it's really nice. Now, originally people thought maybe a bit feminine, but I don't think so. I think we're in 2024 and I think that it's just a nice looking racket. Um, I'd be happy to use it. The MP and the Pro. Uh, it's only available in the MP. Uh, it's not available in the Pro. Um, but a very nice racket. The bag and luggage that goes with it, equally very smart. Um, and so, yeah, I would enjoy getting to use this boom and I would feel uh, like a star using it. So there we go. The boom goes third onto my list. In at number two, we have the first entry from the brand from France. Not Technofiber, the other one. We have from Babolat. You might be thinking, what? Pure Drive? He does love a Pure Drive, but no. The Rafa Aero. Isn't it? Delicious. I don't actually have one strung up. I had to take one off the shelf uh, from the shop for this because they're so popular. We only had one left. Um, this is actually the Origin, the full weight uh, Rafa version, but both the, the 290 gram one and actually the Boost version are in the same colorway. So even if you don't want to get a top spec racket, you can have one that looks as good as this. And the reason why I like it is so unique and it's so Rafa. Now, Babolat, when they first came, quite a young brand. Uh, when it, especially when it came to rackets and had some really great designed rackets like some of the original aeros were lively um, pure drives looked great the strike when it came out was striking um, and I feel like over the last few years some of that design kind of uh, flair has maybe left Babolat maybe become a bit too serious and then when this came out yes we're back to some proper vibrant youthful looks the Raffaero A is actually a really great racket to use and B, I just think it looks great. They've really put uh, a lot of thought into it, making all the colors pop. The faceplate as well, underestimated, but a really nicely put together faceplate. So, but that's only entry, but it's high on the list. Number two, the Rafa Aero. In at number one, the moment you have all been waiting for, the one that you've probably been thinking, how has he not mentioned that racket yet? And here it is. The Wilson Shift. Ooh, ooh silvery, glossy, sleek. No matter what colour string, what colour stencil. I think maybe with a red stencil would have popped even more, but it's just a really nice looking racket. Now, there is one downside, but it's so small. And it's same as on the new blade as well. It's this W. Why? And I know why. It's a sig the signal for Wilson Labs, where they do their R&D into their new racket. So when they have a new technology and have new rackets, they want to signify that it's their new spec and their new tech. And so that's the little Wilson Labs sign. And I think it's a little unnecessary. I think obviously you've got the shift here, smart, but it's just a great looking racket. It looks amazing under floodlights. Uh, it's customizable to any color grip, any color strings. Uh, it makes everything else pop. Uh, and it's just a really nice racket. Um, whether you actually think the Shift franchise as a range is good is maybe debatable. I mean, there's better options in a similar profile within both Wilson and other brands. But if you just want to look great on court and there's a full range of luggage, there's a duffel, a backpack, a big bag, there's even a Shift shoe. Um, and if you want the kit out fully, but not look like you're kitted out fully, because as I say, it's quite subtle, nice, kind of greys and silvery designs, then the shift is the racket for you. Shift attention away from your opponent onto your great looking racket. I don't know if that worked, but you know, I'll go with it. Um, so there we have it. My number one 
best looking racket in 2024. If I had to pick a racket based purely off looks and I had the entire market available to me, I would be picking the Wilson Shift version one. So there we have it. We have the best and we have the worst looking rackets available in 2024, in my very not so humble opinion. Um, it was actually quite difficult to end up on the shift. The top five really jumped out at me, but then trying to work out within that five what I wanted. It took a little bit of thinking, um, but then the sophisticated man within me uh, led me to the shift. I kind of turned the, the fun of the Raffaero down. If you disagree with me, which of course you don't, please tell me your top five best looking records in the comments. I will reply to you with as little sarcasm as possible. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share to all your friends, find out their top five best looking rackets, and we will see you on the next video.